Are you struggling with the something went wrong error on YouTube live streaming? So was I. I managed to fix it and in this video I'm going to show you what I did. Now quick disclaimer, this worked for me, it might not work for you, I don't think there's any side effects, um, but if you're at all unsure maybe don't do it or at least read through um, the, the blog post and watch the video in its entirety um, so you understand exactly what's happening and if you're not sure feel free to read into it a bit more so you fully understand what I'm doing here. Now the problem I was having was that I went to the live streaming page in YouTube and it came up with this something went wrong error. Now this isn't really helpful to me, like it doesn't really tell me what I need to do about it. I left it a few days and tried it again and it was still there. I happen to know that I can look uh, at the console to see what the actual error is and when I did that it still wasn't really very helpful. 500 error, could not fetch broadcast. Well, I had to think about it and I thought about the things I changed in the past few days. And for me, I'd changed quite a lot of streaming keys around. I created some new keys and I'd edited some existing ones. And so I wondered, maybe that was causing the problem. So I looked around a bit and it turns out there is a way of uh, managing your streaming keys without using the live streaming page. YouTube live streaming has a whole set of APIs an API is a way of automating actions um, via code and it allows developers to write applications uh, that perform actions um, that a user might otherwise have, to, uh, otherwise have to do and it's good for retrieving information as well and via this API with, that YouTube has you can list your streaming keys and you can also update them. One of the really nice things um, is that they've got a reference page and on that reference page it lets you actually execute those APIs for yourself. Let me show you. This is the reference documentation for YouTube's live streaming API. On the left here, you can see a number of things I can do. I can list live streams, insert, update, and delete them. A live stream, I think, is the same as the streaming key. So one of the nice things about this uh, API is that actually I don't need to be uh, like a developer to make these API calls. I can use this try this API section on the right-hand side. So first of all, I'm going to click list my streams. Um, that's what I want to do. I want to get back a list of my own streams. What that's going to do is fill all the, the information on the right hand side out that I need to execute this API call. And when I'm ready, I go and click execute. Make sure that both these are ticked in the credentials box. What's going to happen is that YouTube's going to pop up a new window to authenticate me, and my Gmail account, my Google Mail account, my YouTube account, essentially. Um, and then ask me if it's okay to perform this action on my behalf. I'm going to say yes, and then it's going to um, run that API. Okay, so I've signed in, and now I'm just being asked whether or not it's okay for the API Explorer to access my account, so I'm going to say yes to that. Um, and that just gives this page the, author the authorization it needs to make that call. So the call's happened. I know it's happened because I've got this green bar, and it says 200 here. 200 is an HTTP code. It's computer code that just means everything went well. It all worked out fine. And then the results, uh, well, the results are all in this code here. Now, if you know what you're looking for, that's fine, but this isn't super readable, right? So um, I'm going to use a, a JSON viewer. So this information here is in JSON format. That's what this is called. This type of um, layout and this type of uh, structure is called JSON format. I'm going to use a JSON viewer to view this um, piece of data. There are lots of different types of JSON viewer you could use. I like this one. So I'm going to paste my text in and then I'm going to click viewer and this gives me a nice kind of structured way of just looking through that same um, bit of data. Now I can see here I've got two separate keys. Um, see here's item zero and item one. They've all got, they've got special names and they've got the titles that you'd expect from the keys. Now when I had the problem um, I had three or four different keys and what I wanted to do is figure out could I find a way of deleting these keys and getting back to just this one, the default stream key. So that's what I did. Let's say I wanted to delete this one. So in your case, you might have more than just these two, but one of these will say default stream key because YouTube always creates the default stream key for you yourself. So what you want to do is find all the other ones and then go and delete them. You do that by selecting the ID of the one you want to delete. So I'm going to take this ID here. If I go up to this side, um, I can copy it. I'm going to copy that out um, and just make a note of that. 
And if I go back to this list page, I'm then going to go to the delete section. And that deletes a video stream. I then take the ID and paste it into this box on the right hand side um, where it says ID. Pop that in. Take off, really, this is really important, take off any space at the front, take off any of the double quotes. You want to be left with just the characters. Okay. And when you're ready, click execute. Again, a nice green um, bar here. 204 means everything is good and that key has been deleted. So you want to repeat that process for all of the keys that you've got that are not your default key. That will get you all the way back to having one single key, the default key. Once you've deleted all of the keys apart from the default key, go back to the live streaming page, refresh it or reload it, um, and you should find that it, everything's working again just fine. That's what I did and it's worked out great. I really hope this video helps you. It really helped unblock me and get me going, um, figuring out exactly what to do here. It was a lot of fun as well. And so I really hope it's been useful. If you have found it useful, let me know in the comments. Feel free to share it and also hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more videos like this. Thanks very much for watching.